ISS is an institute that does development studies. It's often described as a critical sciences institute. It started as one of those typical post-colonial institutes, very patronizing. And it has evolved in a serious research institute, not just doing it for people in development, but with. This is an institute that brings together researchers who have a passion, bridging the gaps between activism and academia. Researchers organized a matrix type of structure at ISS. We have four cross-cutting themes, conflict and peace, social protection and inequality, environment and climate change, and migration and diversity. We have these four themes and people work on these themes from different perspectives. I am an economist, but I work often with political ecologists, with political scientists, with human geographers. When we have projects, we gather the expertise we need and we grow together as a real multidisciplinary team. The research of ISS is very broad. So we have people working in Asia, Latin America and Africa. Those would be the more traditional places where ISS works. But nowadays we also work, for example, in The Hague. We have so many people who are migrants here, who have come to The Hague or to other cities in the Netherlands. So how are these people influencing how life in the Netherlands evolves? And at ISS is a very international institution itself. I think we cover pretty much all the continents. So it's a very uh, stimulating environment to work in. The experiences from the places that people come from, the experiences that they bring to the table, they enrich our theoretical debates, policy debates, research debates that we're having around the table. At ISS, research and teaching come hand in hand and they have a dialogical relationship. We try to develop experiences that then we can communicate also in class. You do your research, you take your research into the classroom, you take your research into project work. I have a long-standing collaboration with a university in DRC, Congo for example. And what we do after we finish a research project, we sit with the university and see how they can use it in their education. So then we set up a course, for example, on gender and development, and that helps them in their education, in their own environment. We try to make sure that what we deliver in our teaching and research is of relevance, policy relevance especially. We don't uh, focus on just doing uh, research for the sake of research. Our questions come from a desire to influence policy. Yes, yeah, societal relevance and societal impact are objectives of what we do. So when we start a project, that's where we match academic curiosity, a good question that is also a relevant question. So we're finding an answer and even the research process itself can be empowering and have an impact on the communities we work with. All our questions derive from that, uh, that original idea that, look, what research we do should be with a view of helping and influencing and having an impact. I think at ISS we are all committed to make a difference for real development issues. Taking the research out of academia and really communicating with wider audiences. So it's not just research that you publish in journals that are just for your colleagues. And that sort of makes the difference, I think. <laughs>